Hey everybody, FedNow is not a CBDC. FedNow and CBDC or central bank digital currency are two totally distinct concepts related to the digitization of the payment system, but they're really quite different. All right, what are those differences? How does it work? Here are some of the key differences between the two. First of all, the purpose. FedNow is a real-time payment system developed by the Federal Reserve Banks in conjunction with private industry and public sector as well to be able to facilitate instant payments between banks and other credit unions and their account holders, both business and consumers and within the U.S. On the other hand, a CBDC is a digital form of a fiat currency that is actually issued by a central bank. Now, the CBDCs, they can actually be used to replace cash or be a digital representation of the cash. FedNow does not do that. What about an issuer? Well, FedNow is being developed by the Federal Reserve, which is the central bank of the US. It is also being created with the input and the assistance of over 130 organizations, both public and private within the US. CBDCs though, they are issued by central banks, but each country has to make its own CBDC and they are typically created independently within that country. What about the design? FedNow is designed to operate and complement existing payment infrastructure and platforms that are available today in the US. We see things like the automated clearinghouse. We see things like checks, which include electronic checks, wires, cards, including debit cards that are all tied directly to bank accounts. The difference is FedNow will be able to do what these systems do much faster though. These are payment channels that have been in place for decades. Again, the difference between these payment channels and FedNow is that FedNow will be incredibly faster and also available any day, every day, and all day. Well, CBDCs would operate on a blockchain or a distributed ledger technology. They would require a new infrastructure in the US and within the banking systems. Not something that we have to do if we add on to existing systems. What about use cases? FedNow is primarily aimed at facilitating faster and more efficient payments between banks and other financial institutions and their account holders. CBDCs, on the other hand, well, they really have a much broader range of potential use cases. And it could be things for including retail payments. It could also be cross-border payments. FedNow does not go cross-border and even serving as a store of value. What about the legal tender aspect? FedNow is not a legal tender. CBDCs, on the other hand, would be recognized as a legal tender in the country where they are issued. What about monetary policy? CBDCs would and could potentially have a significant impact on monetary policy as central banks would be able to monitor transactions in real time which can help them to implement more effective monetary policies. And that could be a benefit, but there is all that monitoring in real time. FedNow, on the other hand, is not expected to have any impact on monetary policy as it is just a channel for the real time movement of money. And it does not replace your fiat currency. FedNow and CBDC are two distinct concepts and they're related by digitization of payment systems. Now, while FedNow is a real-time payment system developed by the Federal Reserve Banks to facilitate instant payments between banks and other financial institutions in the US, CBDC, on the other hand, is a digital form of fiat currency, which is actually issued by the central bank. FedNow is designed to operate and complement existing payment infrastructure and platforms. While CBDCs would operate on a blockchain or a distributed ledger technology, 
and even require new infrastructure. FedNow is primarily aimed at facilitating faster and more efficient payments between banks and credit unions and their account holders. CBDCs, they're actually a much broader range of what they could potentially use. And yes, they can solve for retail payments just like FedNow can, but they're also looked at being used for potentially cross-border payments. And unlike FedNow, CBDCs have to be recognized as legal tender in the country of issuance and could potentially have significant impact on monetary policy. As central banks, they would actually be able to monitor those transactions in real time. FedNow is not a legal tender and is not meant to in any way replace cash as a currency. That's because FedNow is not and is not meant to be a CBDC. For now, class dismissed.